Man, it is a cold, rainy, nasty morning here in South Louisiana. I'm with my good buddy Justin Bowles on his boat. He has been whacking the speckled trout, throwing really tiny baits on Carolina rigs, a technique I've never done. I've thrown Carolina rigs for trout, but never with these little baits. So I'm here with him today so he can show me what he's doing. I'm gonna be throwing, at least initially, just a traditional jig head with a traditionally sized soft plastic just to see if I can hang with him. We're actually already where we're gonna fish. We left very, very early and with these heavy leaden skies, it's still dark out here. But we're gonna get started right now, see if we can pick up some early speckled trout. We definitely beat the rush, believe me. Well, there we go, trout number one. What was that on? Look at the size of this bait. That's incredible. Look at that. On a 132nd ounce Sakale jig. You gotta be kidding. It's just micros. I guess I ought to go ahead and put a hook in this bait. There he is. Now I see why I've been missing him. Yeah, look. That's a better fish. He'll probably make the cut. <laughs> Never mind. So Justin and I weren't planning to fish this area, but we came through here and saw all these birds. Hopefully you can see them on camera. They're not really focused. They're just kind of broadly dipping on shrimp in this whole area. Unfortunately, what's under them is a whole lot of 10 inch, nine inch speckled trout. Getting lots of bites, but the few we're landing are really, really small. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Man, Justin and I have really battled the elements today. We both agreed this is one of the rawest fishing days we've had in quite a while. Really windy, very cold, intermittent rain. We're all wet, our hands are freezing. We've caught a few fish, but they've all been little, maybe a couple of keepers. So we decided to punt entirely on what we we're doing and just go with what the elements are giving us. So we've come to a line of rocks where we're gonna throw jerk baits and hopefully catch some much nicer speckled trout than what we've been catching. We've had a bunch of east wind here in South Louisiana and a ton of rain yesterday, lots of flooding throughout the area. So that's definitely got this water a little stained. It's not perfect conditions for jerk bait fishing, but I do like this heavy overcast. And you know, the good thing with throwing these baits, you can catch some really, really nice speckled trout, particularly in this area. Let's see what happens. Uh-uh. Oh, there's a fish. Fish number one. Fish number one. Good decision. Hopefully we'll catch some bigger, but that's still not a bad fish. And he hit it quite aggressively got both hooks maybe my second or third cast you don't want them huh oh you dog definitely miss one definite bite terrible hook set There's a fish, there's a fish. Not as big as the last. It looks like a bass, huh? Sure is. Jerk bait bass. He had the front hook too. Good sign. I don't think I've ever seen the water this high on the rocks, ever. Is somebody there we go. There we go. Oh, he's barely hooked. Look at that. You want a net? Nah. We're keeping fish, maybe, but. You got him with the other yep. One. There we go. This reminds me a lot of fish in the causeway. Like, how yeah. far do you go before you pick up? I know. All right, it's all the same. But I, I've found in these rocks, absolutely, without question, there are productive zones and unproductive zones. You and I are going to catch some topwater trout this February. I got some, 
I got some ideas. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's not a bad fish. Good two and a half pound speckle trout. Got both hooks, got the front hook in his mouth, back hook in his head. I tell you, catching these fish on jerk baits is just, there's just nothing like it. It is so much fun. I mean, this is a nice sized fish, got a lot of strength to fight, and they, man, they just try and rip the rod out of your hands. That fish was out. Yep. Oh goodness. Oh wait. Is he that big or did I just see him? Yeah, I mean he's nice. He's nice. <laughs> he's I mean he hit now. right at the boat. Come on, dude. I'ma reel down to you. Cause I don't want to hook in the eye. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the side of this fish. Something happened to him. And look, he's blind in one eye. Look at that. Look at his side. Oh, wow. He's blind in one eye. Look at his side. Yeah. Both sides. Something tried yeah, to eat him at some point. Yeah. And it's brick hard. Like his eye is brick hard. Yep. Man, let me tell you, Justin and I are having a ball throwing these stick baits. We are absolutely not setting the world on fire. We're having to work a little bit for each fish. But man, when they're hitting it, they're tattooing it. Almost all of them have the front hook. It tells you they're really, really aggressive. And there's some really nice speckled trout. We haven't caught any five pounders or anything like that. But they're all really, really solid fish. Particularly given how our morning started when we caught a bunch of throwbacks. This is kind of a nice change of pace for sure. We both love this style of fishing. Here we go. And he was a little bit out, huh? Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Just so nice. Fish on? Fish on, fish on. Bass. <laughs> Man, that's a nice bass. Yeah, he's got a deep too. Man, that's a lunker. That is a lunker for these marshes. I gotta show you this. Justin just got a new Skeeter. And look at this, look at this element of this boat. It's got a leaning post that actually converts to seats. You pull these down, sit up there, you can put down the leg rest here. But not only that, it's actually got an armrest. <laughs> How cool is that? Ultimate in comfort. I'm definitely sitting up there for the ride home. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad. And by Fitzgerald Fishing. And by Seto New Orleans. And by Versamax Quartz. And by Death Grip Jig Heads. I mean, we haven't caught many fish. It tells you... There's probably not a ton of fish along here because the ones that are hitting it are hitting it. Like, you ever have those days where it's you hook them all outside the mouth and just with the back hook or whatever? Like, you, that's not happening. When you have a bunch, you know it was a bite, but they just like swipe it. Right. And you come up and scale. Oh. Got him? Yeah. There we go. He was out, wasn't he? We might ought to back off. Like all our bites now are coming off. Except the bass seem to be good. Yeah. Beautiful. Be free, dude. All right, so Justin and I are gonna leave these trout biting these stick baits. Again, it's not every cast. We're having to work for them, but it's still a lot of fun. But he wants to go catch some fish on Texas rigs. And I know we can do that not too far from this area. Now the water is up. We've got cloudy skies. We've got a lot of wind, but the water is up and it's also rising. So we got that working against us, but I still think we can catch a few bass, maybe even some redfish as well. 
We're gonna throw some craws and some worms back in the marsh and see what happens. It's really better, like past, past this point, and that next point is really good. And then that bayou there has some pretty deep water. That's the point over to the left Yeah, but from, you know, I fished from this point to there and all the way back into that bayou. Fish on, fish on. That didn't take long. What'd you do? Is that, is that a trout? <laughs> sure is. Spinnerbait trout. First cast. So why you tell me to cast over here? So you'd be out of my way. I think that's a keeper, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Not today, though. Cause it, oh, there we go. There we go. I think that's a red. I'm not thinking that's a bass. It is a bass. Man, he's not even all that big. Man, that fish fought. Got a face full of grass. Oh, look, Justin got him one. Same spot. Another bass. Hey, let's, let's, let's get a quick double shot. Double selfie. Another bass. All right, throwing behind you. I tell you what, I bet we got half a limit of bass if we were keeping them, counting the fish we caught on the rocks. See you, dude. It's your lucky day. All right, here we go. Redfish? No bass. Nice bass. Justin called his shot. See, I'm taking one for the team, throwing this spinner bait, but I won't do it long if they're gonna hit that. There he is, there he is, on the point. Hit the spinner bait. He is feisty in this 62 degree water. Ha 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 ha. Dude, how can you not love this? Particularly on those Texas rigs. Yeah. They are stacked up. Oh, there we go. Double Justin. I tell you what, two nice fish too. He's surfing in. Better eating than any fish we caught today. Yeah, mine is prettier. <laughs> That's what the girls say. I gotta throw in your honey hole. That's amazing. You come all the way in here. Right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then boom. And I'll tell you this, as quickly as you started catching them, they'll turn off and you won't get another bite. There he is. Every cast, marsh bass action, two at a time. Man, it is just perfect way to round out a fishing trip here in South Louisiana. Twins. We got twins. Justin borrowed one of my Z Craws and he's caught <laughs> I don't know how many. How many of you caught on that? Maybe eight? Yeah. On that one bait? That's unusual. I had to get a little creative with with the rigging? Yeah. <laughs> the first one was free. <laughs> uh oh. I made a cast without a bite. Bad omen. Got him? <laughs> Is it? Man, 
man, I saw him hit you. I saw your line jump. Bait, eight fish, that one one. <laughs> wow. That's a little better. It's a slaughter. There he is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing you set the hook that hard. Just that right, just a whisker. <laughs> Look at that. Did he hit your way out here? Yeah. What was that? I think that's eight casts in a row. That you got a bite? Never said that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See that? He angered the fish gods. And then there were none. That's how it is. It's incredible. I can't tell you how often this happens. Every cast and then zero. Like, you, you know you didn't catch them all. Yeah, I think they just wised up. I guess, I don't know. You would think it would like taper off. Like one every other cast and then one every third cast. That's not how it happens. It's every cast and then it's no cast. It's almost certainly over. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, if Justin and I believed in omens, <laughs> we would have turned around and gone home this morning because this trip did not start well at all. Just deplorable conditions, miserable fishing, wet, cold, nasty. And what we set out to do just didn't happen. It just did not. But we didn't beat our heads against the wall trying to force it to happen. We just punted and went and did what the conditions gave us and it definitely worked in our favor. We caught a whole bunch of speckled trout and some really, really nice trout and then came into the marsh and succeeded mightily in catching bass. Even caught a redfish today, although it was on a stick bait. So we definitely hit the trifecta today. Very fun trip. And look, given the conditions, the way they started, nobody fished today. We saw very, very few boats and it's a Saturday. We had almost the whole area to ourselves. And man, that just makes it a whole lot easier. Well, Justin and I have committed to getting back out here again and doing another video when conditions are better for that Carolina rig bite because I really want to see that thing in action. I've fished a lot of Carolina rigs over the years, but never with those little bitty baits. And he's been catching some nice fish doing that. So be on the lookout for that one. But until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we will see you right here on Marsh Man Masson.